What's going on, everybody? Oh, I'll do a little bit of a gun review today. Uh, some of you that follow me on Instagram probably saw that I posted a picture of shooting a Beretta the other day. So, uh, thought we'd take a look at one of these. Uh, nobody talking about them much anymore. But, I like the Beretta 92. This is the only one that I own right now, and this is the 92S model. So, if you guys that don't know, this is the model... Uh, that was imported as uh, their Italian police trades. They were cheap several years ago, and I bought one. I've had other Brettas, and uh, I've shot plenty of other Brettas, 92 models. And I don't know, this one just kind of caught my eye for some reason. I didn't have a Bretta at the time, so I bought it a few years ago for, I think, $300. It might have even been a little less than $300 back then. I'm not sure what they're selling for now. I don't know if they're importing them anymore, but we'll uh, take her over to the uh, white tabletop here and take a look at her, and then we'll come back over here and talk about it some more. So, this is our Breda 92S. So, uh, if you're unfamiliar with the Breda 92, most of them, it's still a very similar pistol to this today. Uh, it is a full size, so duty size, 9mm. Coming in at about 34 ounces. Uh, it's eight and a half inches overall length with a 4.9 inch, so five inch barrel, and feeds from a 15 round magazine. Uh, compared to the modern Bretas, it's it, form wise, it's pretty similar. See, the controls all look the same as a modern Beretta. This one was made uh, about 1978, so this is a 40-year-old Beretta. Well, 41 years old this year. <laughs> now, some of the differences between this and what you'll find as the Beretta 92s that are made today are uh, this trigger guard we're looking at. No, the modern, modern ones have a squared trigger guard. It's a little bigger than this. This is rounded. All right. Uh, then you're going to go with the safety here is a little different. It's still designed and works the same. It's still a safety decocker. So if you cock it, there you go. And you push up to fire. That's safe. That's fire. There we go. And it completely disconnects the trigger when it's down. I'm not sure if these can be converted to G mode, you know, the G models, where it's decocker only. I never tried it. Uh, I could probably look into it. I don't know why they wouldn't be able to. Except for the safety selector is a little different. But you can see it's kind of a round knob instead of what they look like today. But it's just slightly different. Uh, it does not quite have as good a sights, which is one of the problems is some... Compared to some of the more modern ones, you can kind of see them there. Just black kind of combat style sights. There's your sight picture. Uh, they work. Uh... Probably could paint a little bit. If I painted a little bit of something on the front sight, they would probably work a little better. And I may do that. A little red paint or white paint on the front sight post there just to make it stand out. They're fairly fine, but I mean, they're small compared to what modern ones are. And the new ones with the vertex slides now, you can replace both front and rear sights on them. This one you could technically knock out the rear, I think. Or no, nope, it's... I mean, you're pretty much stuck with this because the front sight is milled into the slide, if you can see it there. So it's part of the slide. You can't really do much with that. And the last kind of big difference is this magazine catch down here. You can see is at the bottom. Uh, these were European police pistols and just kind of how Europe did it. So instead of having your normal mag catch, have it down here. So, that could be a big deal. It might not be a big deal. Uh, I don't carry this gun a whole lot. I use it more just at the range. I would not feel bad carrying this gun. I mean, it's a, it's a decent enough shooter. Uh, you'll see my groups at the range. If you watch Instagram, I'll post a video here after this shooting it in some of the groups. But they're pretty good with it. So, uh We'll take her back into the other room, and we'll talk about holsters. Well, you know what I'll do.
All right, holsters for this are going to be a little bit different. Uh, so notice the rounded trigger guard here. Because of that round trigger guard, you know, a little bit of a problem with Kydex holsters. Now, leather, you should be perfectly fine. This should fit any leather holster for a Beretta 92. You know, pretty much any kind. Uh, of course, it'll fit the crap nylon and stuff, too. But Kydex is where you're going to come into a problem with this. And that this might not fit. And a lot of Kydex holsters kind of lock around this trigger guard. And that's part of your retention. So you're going to have to have a Kydex kind of made for it. Or find one specifically for an S model. Uh, the ones for the effort. The Model F, which was right after this. The SS. I think there's an SSB or SB or whatever. Anything after this S model has kind of that squared trigger guard. So you're going to want to find one for the S model with this round trigger guard. That being said, some holsters will work. I have a Serpa here, which I know, I know. I'm going to end up shooting myself in the leg with it. But let's see here. This did not fit when I first got it. But you can modify these hard to see down in there but the little tab down in there that holds this in you can actually grind a little bit on it and make it work with this you just got to get down in there with a file and file it a little bit to make it work and then you actually have a retention holster for it uh, this I use as a range holster more than anything but it works uh, I could carry you could carry it in that so all right, let's take her back over to my bench here real quick and talk about uh, carrying this, owning this, you know, the mag issue with it, and anything else. So let's head over there. All right, so now that we're back over here, we can take a look at the this guy here. Now, one of the big differences on this, if you can see, is going to be this mag release, which is down here on the heel of the gun. Um, this is the reason I've seen a lot of people say they won't carry this, along with the sights, of course, too. Sights are something you can overcome. Uh, really, if you get good with this, there, I can pick them up fairly quickly, especially if I painted this front sight a little bit so that it stood out more. But, I mean, for a lot of years, people carry guns with combat sights, which is what this is, basically. This was a police pistol, so it got carried by Italian police pretty regularly. So, but a lot of people don't like this mag release because it slows down your your reloads. I'm not sure how much it slows down your reloads. Uh, it does to some extent, I'm sure. But we can look at some other ones here and we'll see. Let me grab a mag pouch here real quick. Just quickly, let's throw a mag pouch where I would normally carry a spare magazine. Uh, back here. Alright. And let's grab a Beretta mag. There we go. I'm just going to put a Beretta magazine in my spare mag pouch there. Okay, so we're going to assume that this is fired to lock back. So pew, pew, pew. And then we're going to do a mag change. So pew, pew, pew. There we go. I'll get back. Let's try one more here. We'll see. And it doesn't drop them free real well. So pew, pew, pew. There we go. So there's our mag change. Uh, let's try one with a different gun here. Hold on. We'll grab, let's say, a Glock 19, because I know I have mags on here. See if we can do any, see how much slower that is than a Glock 19 mag change. Just, I'm not going, trying to go fast, just kind of goofing around here. So, Glock 19 from Slide Lock. Pew, pew, pew. Was it any faster? Or was it much slower? I'll we'll pick our mag up here. Yes, I don't care about dropping mags on the ground. Put that back in our mag holder. Get it facing forward. 
All right, so pew, pew, pew. So is it much faster? I don't know. As Paul Harrell would say, you guys will be the judge of that. You guys can be the judge of that. Uh, I don't think it's slowing you down enough to make a difference. I really don't on that matter. Now, some other things that that does is not all Breda 92 mags will fit in here either. So, uh, this is the factory mag that came with it. So, and that, this came with one magazine. It's just a standard looking Breda. If you ever held a Breda M9 pistol, military pistol, looks pretty similar to this. You can see it there. But the difference is, see there's no mag release spots. Except for down there, right on the bottom, if we can see that. Right there is where the cut is for the mag release. Now, modern Breda mags, a lot of times, these are factory Breda 92 mags. Uh, you can get them where they are cut both sides here for a modern swappable mag release on a modern you know, M, M9A1, you know, 92FS, whatever you, Breda model you have. But they also have the little cutout on the bottom there you can see for this model. So these also fit. They lock in the gun perfectly fine. Uh, after target mags, you can find some. Ugh, that's a pro mag, but yeah, there it is. It has a cut for it here. Boom. Locks in. Kind of not as nice as... Breda mags locks the gun back perfectly fine. Uh, even some here, if you can see, where are we out here? This is where is it? Ah, see the yellow follower here. This is a 17 round Taurus PT 92 mag, and it has the bottom cut on the magazine right there. So it will also go in the gun. Locks the gun back fine. Feeds. I've shot with this magazine. Feeds fine. Uh, I'm not sure who makes Taurus's mags, but it, it works. So, almost any Beretta mag will work in this handgun. So, like I said, it's a decent gun. I mean, these are still relatively cheap. I've seen them online different places. Uh, this one's made by PW Arms. Uh, or was made by PW. No, this one was imported by PW Arms. Words are difficult sometimes. So this one is a PW Arms import, Richmond, Virginia. Uh, I know other companies had brought these in also. So if you can find these at gun shows and stuff, uh, they're great guns and they work really well. So there you have it. If you're looking for a budget Beretta, you might want to check out one of these. Uh, might see another Beretta or two coming up on the channel here, too, because I forgot how much I actually enjoyed shooting the Beretta 92. So, guys, if you like this video, like some of the other videos I have, then uh, give me a like and share. If you want to see more stupidity from me on this channel, then, you know, give me a subscribe there, and uh, I'll see you all later. Thanks.